Silfab, Qcells, or Maxion. Who makes the best solar panels for your home as we're going into 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and sharing with you my top five recommended solar panels in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're doing another top five solar panel comparison, this time 2025 edition as we're about to go into the new year. Now I should say the solar panels that we're looking at in today's video are commercially available solar panels that can be purchased in wholesale quantities to be installed on your home. So if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar panel options, these are panels that are gonna be available uh, at a wholesale solar panel distributor where a professional solar installation company or a solar contractor would be able to offer them to you for installation. So again, think mass produced solar panels that can be purchased at wholesale quantities. Uh, and again, these are residential model solar panels. So although there might be some larger or lesser expensive solar panels that are used for commercial solar installations or utility scale solar farms, the modules or the, the panels that we're gonna be looking at in today's video are specifically designed for residential rooftop installation. And with that, let's get into the lineup. All right, coming in at number five is the Trina Vertex S 410 watt solar module. Now the thing with Trina and the Vertex S line is, I think it's just gonna be overall value. Um, there's nothing that's that exceptional with this panel in terms of performance, and we'll get to the specific specs here in a moment. But really what you're looking at with this solar module is just overall value, a great low competitive price per watt for my solar system, which could translate to the best dollar for dollar payback on your solar investment. Now, aesthetically, as you can see, it's gone to the, the black uh, colored design. Uh, most of the residential solar modules now have gone to the all black on black aesthetic. As you can see here, there is a bit of a white back sheet or, or white bussing uh, that makes for a little bit of a checkerboard effect on the solar module. But uh, again, for most residential rooftop applications, you're not gonna be that close to really see it. It's gonna look like a good standard black solar panel. Now, in terms of the warranty, Trina offers a 15-year product warranty with a 25-year performance warranty. Now, I know this is a point of confusion for a lot of folks that are looking at solar modules. Why do you have a different product warranty from the performance warranty? Well, what that means is that the, the physical integrity of the product, the, the physical durability of the product, in this case, is guaranteed for 15 years, whereas the electrical power output performance is guaranteed out to 25 years. So another way to think about that is the, the manufacturer is essentially saying, look, we guarantee that, that the panel will physically hold up for only 15 years, but if it does physically hold up for longer than that, we're guaranteeing the power production output for up to 25 years. Now, again, I know practically speaking, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. If you're buying the solar system, you need it to physically stay intact and electrically put out the electricity that it was designed to produce but for some reason, this particular model still has the old holdover where you have a shorter product warranty period, but a longer power output warranty. Now, in terms of degradation, the Vertex S can lose up to 0.55% uh, per year, uh, up to 25 years, meaning that there's, there's a small percentage of production that's going to be lost. This is what we call the degradation rate. Um, each year that the solar panel ages. So in the case of the Vertex S, you can lose up to 0.55% power per year, and that puts us at 84.8% .8 of original rated power out in year 25, which is the terminal year of the warranty. Uh, but again, when you're looking at the Vertex S, this is, I would say, a value solar panel. It gives you all the basic features and performance that you would expect from a state-of-the-art residential solar panel, uh, and it comes in at a good competitive price point, uh, and there's abundant supply available here on the market. Now, the Vertex S is not a USA-made product, although Trina is building a solar panel manufacturing facility in Texas, but as of this recording, this is still a made-in-China product, but again, I think if you're looking for just overall value, dollar-for-dollar dollar payback, 
it's a solid option here. All right, coming in at number four is the Silfab Prime 440 watt solar panel. Now, the Silfab Prime uses new N-type solar cells and they provide up to a 30 year warranty. Now you're gonna find with the Silfab panel that the degradation rate is not quite as fast as with the Trina. Uh, the new Silfab Prime panel degrades at only 0.3% per year which means that even at year 30 of the warranty, you're still guaranteed about 90% of the initial rated power. Now, of course, aesthetically, the Silfab Prime is a nice all black on black aesthetic, black frame, black cells, black back sheet. So when this is installed on the rooftop, it's gonna just look like a continuous sheet of black glass. So aesthetically speaking, a uh, very, very good solar panel in that area. And in terms of module efficiency, the Silfab Prime offers module efficiency up to 22.6%. Now, when we talk about module efficiency, what we're talking about is what percentage of sunlight that hits the surface of the solar module, what percentage of that sunlight is successfully captured and converted into usable electricity versus what might just get reflected away what could pass through the module or some is lost as heat as well. Uh, as of this recording, I would say anything that's over 22% module efficiency could be considered a high efficiency solar module. So Silfab performs well in this area as well. Cost wise, I think you're gonna find that Silfab is a very cost competitive product. Um, I know you all would like for, for me to be able to give you specific pricing on these videos, but the pricing really depends on you know, which distributor you're purchasing from, uh, or which installer you're choosing to do your installation, uh, and of course, which state you're located in. So prices will vary a little bit, but overall, you're going to find Silfab to be a very cost competitive product. Uh, and of course, Silfab is a made in USA product. And so not only do they do final assembly in the USA, but they also do domestically sourced materials, which means that it's gonna help you qualify for some additional tax incentives uh, as part of the Inflation Reduction Act for solar equipment that was domestically or majority domestically sourced, you can qualify for an extra 10% on the tax credit. So Silfab is great in this area here. I think overall you're gonna find this a very good combination of price, performance, and warranty. All right, coming in at number three on the list is the SunPower Maxion 7 445 watt solar panel. Now, one thing I wanna clear up uh, up front here is SunPower and Maxion used to be the same company. SunPower was more the sort of the consumer facing brand. You might uh, work with a SunPower licensed contractor or you might work with a, a system designer or a salesperson that works for SunPower. Uh, whereas Maxion is the actual solar panel manufacturing company. So they used to be the same company. Uh, back in 2020, I believe they went through some sort of a, a bankruptcy restructuring where SunPower separated as the solar sales and installation company and Maxion retained the manufacturing assets. So as of today, as of this recording, SunPower is actually out of business. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video about the SunPower bankruptcy, uh, go back and watch the previous video where we talk about some of the challenges that SunPower had in more detail. But Maxion and the Maxion solar panel, uh, that company and that product is still available today. And the current generation is the Maxion 7 445 watt panel. Now, one of the things that Maxion has always been known for is having some of the most efficient solar cells. Uh, and that's no change here as we're going into 2025. The SunPower Maxion 7 panel offers module efficiency over 24%. It's 24.1% module efficiency for their highest power rated module. Now, of course, the other thing that Maxion has always been known for is having one of the best, if not the best warranty in the industry. Uh, and as of this recording, they're offering a 40 year warranty that covers parts, performance, and labor or service, which means that even if the company that does your original solar installation goes out of business, Maxion will cover the expense of whatever labor is required to swap out a defective solar panel. Plus, they have a very, very low degradation rate, meaning you know, we, we talk about degradation rate, we're talking about what's the percentage of performance that's lost each year as the solar panel ages. And when you look at the Maxion 7, it only degrades at a rate of a quarter of a percent per year, which means that you're going to get more total energy harvest over the lifetime of the system as that system ages. 
Uh, a standard solar panel loses half a percent per year. The Maxion 7 only loses a quarter of a percent per year. So again, that just means more total energy that will be produced over the lifetime of that system. But the downside with Maxion and, and previously when they were sold with SunPower, the downside of course is the premium pricing. Um, if you're watching this video out there, if you've received a price quote from a SunPower dealer in the past or from somebody offering Maxion solar panels currently, chances are it's gonna be one of the most, if not the most expensive uh, price quotes that you receive. Now again, they'll, they'll justify it by the lower degradation rate, the much stronger warranty terms. Uh, of course, in the environment that we're in today when we've, we've seen so many solar business failures, you know, having a strong warranty is great, but of course the warranty is only as strong as the company who, who issues it. But as far as how the terms look on paper today, Maxion's probably got the best warranty in the industry and definitely worth considering uh, as part of the top recommended solar panels. Today's video is brought to you by Solvari. If you're a solar installer looking to lower your labor cost, streamline your logistics, reduce time on site and boost profitability, then you need to take a look at the new Solvari SR. Solvari SR is a first of its kind all-in-one solar module incorporating PV cells, microinverter, direct to deck mounting hardware and wire management integrated and combined in a single SKU. The integrated design lowers labor, logistics and permitting costs while allowing the installer to minimize installation crew time on site. So if you're ready to take your solar installation game to the next level, then go to the Solvari website or click the link in the description below so you can place your first order right away. All right, coming in at number two is the Qcells Qtron 440 watt all black solar panel. Now, Qcells is the number one module manufacturer here in the United States. Uh, and that's both for residential solar panels and for commercial solar panels. So chances are, if you had solar panels installed on your home in the last few years, there's about a one in three chance that you have a Qcells product on your roof. Uh, and by the way, Qcells is a domestic solar panel manufacturer. Uh, although it is a foreign owned company, they have manufacturing facilities right here in the United States in Georgia, where they make their commercial and residential solar modules. Uh, in fact, I had a chance to tour their facility earlier this year. Uh, so if you haven't seen the previous video, how solar panels are made, go ahead and take a look at the previous video where I actually walk you through the assembly line for this solar panel. Now, in terms of module efficiency, the Qtron module offers 22.5% module efficiency. So again, right in that competitive range, not quite as high as SunPower, but like I said, anything over 22% module efficiency, as of this recording, you can consider that to be a high efficiency module. Now, Qcells also uses the new N-type cells, or what they've branded as Quantum Neo, which basically just means that they're using the current state of the art in terms of solar cells. Now, in terms of warranty, Qcells gives you a comprehensive 25 year warranty, meaning both product, the, the physical mechanical aspects of the product, as well as the electrical power output is guaranteed for 25 years. And with the new Quantum Neo based solar panels, you're also gonna get better low light and inclement weather performance. Meaning that on overcast days, you know, your solar panels are still producing on overcast day. They're not gonna be producing near peak power, but with the new Quantum Neo design, you're gonna be able to get more usable power out of those overcast days. Uh, and of course, the Qcells module is also designed for extreme weather conditions. Now it has a snow load rating up to 8,100 Pascal and a wind load rating of 3,600 Pascal. So overall, you can't really go wrong with a Qcells panel. Um, I think you're gonna find that in terms of volume, they, they probably are the, the highest volume in terms of quantity out there in the marketplace and definitely one worth considering for your solar system. Now, in terms of pricing, Qcells is not a discount module. I think what you're gonna find is they're gonna be right in the middle of that competitive range. But overall, great performance, great aesthetics, uh, a solid financially stable company backing the warranty and backing the manufacturing. Uh, and as I mentioned, they do their manufacturing right here in the US in Georgia. And finally, coming in at number one is the REC Alpha Pure RX 470 watt solar panel. Now the REC panels use a technology called heterojunction technology or HJT, which is actually a combination of crystalline silicon as well as amorphous or thin film silicon. 
Uh, and the result is a more efficient, more energy dense solar module. As you can see here, the current model achieves module efficiency of 22.6%. But there's also a couple of other benefits with the heterojunction technology. The first is the lower temperature coefficient. Now, when we talk about temperature coefficient, it's essentially the percentage of power production that's lost when the solar panel has to operate at temperatures above the ideal temperature. And so the way it's expressed is a percentage per degrees Celsius or per degrees Kelvin. And so basically with, with the low temperature coefficient, you're going to have less performance loss when that solar panel has to operate in extreme high temperatures. So if you're watching this, if you live in an area that has extreme high heat, like Arizona, New Mexico, parts of Texas, Florida, then having a solar panel with a nice low temperature coefficient means it's going to produce more power in those extreme heat conditions, which just translates to, again, more total energy harvested over the lifetime of the system. Now, another benefit of this technology is the lower degradation rate. Uh, and again, the degradation rate is the percentage of performance that's lost due to aging as the solar system ages. And similar to the Maxion panel, the REC Alpha Pure RX only loses about a quarter of a percent of its performance per year, which means that it's guaranteed to produce at least 92% of initial rated power out in year 25, which is the terminal year of the warranty. So again, that just translates to more total usable energy harvested over the lifetime of the system. And the thing of it is, is that REC doesn't really charge that much of a price premium for these performance benefits. Uh, yes, you're gonna pay slightly more than a, a discount or, or what you might consider a standard solar panel, but the price difference is not that much higher. Uh, and that's one reason that Maxion ranked lower on this lineup and REC is ranked number one, is because they give you premium performance, uh, a premium warranty, which by the way, REC also offers a parts performance and labor warranty. So you have protection in the event that the contractor that does your initial installation goes out of business, REC will pick up the cost for the labor to replace a defective solar panel. Uh, but they're giving you all these benefits at a slight, slight price premium. Uh, again, I know you all would like to be, for me to be able to give you exact pricing, but I can tell you that the, the price premium that you pay for an REC panel compared to a standard is more likely gonna be in the, the 10 cents to 25 cents per watt range, whereas you could be paying 50 cents a watt or more premium with a Maxion product. Uh, and for these reasons and others, that's why we're ranking the REC Alpha Pure X number one best solar panel as we're about to go into 2025. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Help us get to that 100,000 subscriber mark this year. Um, also, it'll make sure that when we have new videos publishing, it'll come up on your feed so that you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar panel options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a price quote and you need to get a comparison quote, uh, whether using one of these solar panel options or, or really any of the leading solar panel options, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.